Since the beginning of human existence, people have been placing bets with one another. Most of the time, there is a 50-50 chance that either party could win, but there are some ways to increase your odds of winning. With these easy tricks, we will teach you how to have the upper hand against your opponent and take home the prize with minimal effort. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we are showing you 10 bets you will always win. Just wait until we reveal how to win at rock, paper, scissors every time. Stay tuned to find out. Unpoppable Bubble Thanks to the advancement of music listening technology, things like cassettes and CDs have pretty much become obsolete. Though many people still have CDs, there is a pretty good chance they are being used as coasters and not for listening to music. The good news is, if you are one of these people, we have a fun little trick you can show your friends that will put that CD to some good use. Before this trick, bet your friends that you can make an unpoppable bubble made out of a CD. This will probably confuse them, since it appears there is no possible way it can happen. Once you have sealed the deal on the bet, blow their mind with this little trick. First, grab a blank CD, something with a blunt edge and a lighter. Next, scrape the coating off the CD with the blunt object. Make sure the scrape portion is about two inches wide. Next, take the lighter and heat the CD on the part that you just scraped. Finally, when it looks like it's beginning to melt, hold the CD sideways and blow on the melted plastic. You will be left with a long tube of air. That will be unpoppable. Collect your winnings and leave your friends with their new CD balloon. Toothpick Star This little bet comes really handy at parties or family functions. You don't need much to pull it off, and it will blow your friends' minds. It's so simple, and the results will entertain children and adults alike. For this sneaky bet, tell your friends or family that you can turn a 10-point star made of matches into a 5-point star without even touching them. Once the bets are placed, gather the needed items and get to work. You will need 5 toothpicks, a straw, and a little bit of water. First, break all the toothpicks in half as close to the center as possible, but make sure both ends are still attached. Next, arrange the toothpicks on the table or plate where the ends of the toothpicks are pointing out and the middle is pointing in. You should have the 10 points pointing out like this. Then, collect the water using the straw and drip a drop or two of water in the middle of the toothpick arrangement. Then, watch your toothpicks slowly move and your friends will start to freak out. The arrangement will end up making a five-point star and all you had to do was drop some water on them. Since you technically didn't touch the toothpicks, you are now the bet winner. Toothpick Balance You can thank science for this next crafty bet, even though it will seem like pure magic. To pull this off, you will want to bet your friends that you can balance two forks on the edge of two toothpicks. Sounds pretty incredible, right? Your friends will think so too, and of course, they will bet against you. Once that happens, it's time to set up your bet winning feat. The items you will need are two forks. You can also substitute one of the forks with a spoon, two toothpicks, and a sturdy base like a salt shaker or an apple. First, using the prongs of the fork, interlock them together, making sure the inside prongs of the top fork are under, while the outside prongs are on top. Next, take one of the toothpicks and insert it into the middle of the combined prongs. Test the balance of the forks and the toothpick on your finger and adjust accordingly. Place this to the side and work your base. For this, you will take the other toothpick and either insert it into the top of an apple or in a hole of a salt shaker. Once it's sturdy, take the other toothpick and forks and balance it on the tip of your base toothpick. If you actually pulled it off, you can collect your money and leave your friends scratching their heads in amazement. We are very excited to show you our new platform, the Premium. Get early access to thousands of videos from your favorite channels including The Taco, The Things, The Trendy, and The Richest. It's all in one place with ad-free browsing. Sign up to the premium for free and get ready to binge watch just one more video. Penny Drop you're sure to beat even your savviest of friends with this next bet. It's so simple, you're going to wonder why you didn't think of it before. All you need is a glass of any sort filled with water and as many pennies as you can find. Fill the glass of your choosing to the brim with water. Then, ask your friends how many pennies they think you can fit into the glass without the water overflowing. Since they can see the glass is already full, chances are they will say only a few. Bet them that you can fit more than 10 pennies into the glass and see if they are up for the challenge. Once all bets are made, start dropping the coins into the water. Since your friend probably said something like four or three, once you pass their bet, 
keep going. Depending on how large the glass is, you can drop more than 20 pennies in without it spilling. Also, if you are of legal drinking age, you can use old wine in a wine glass. Apparently, dropping pennies into old wine helps resort its freshness. So now, you can sip on your newly restored wine and laugh all the way to the bank with your bet winnings. Novel Shuffle. If you have two books lying around and you aren't sure what to do with them, use them to make yourself some quick cash. No, we don't mean you have to sell them. You can actually bet your friends that they can't pull them apart, and chances are they will take you up on it. For this bet, you need two paperback books. Once you have your books, turn them towards one another with the pages of each book facing the other. Now, shuffle the pages of both books together like you would a deck of cards. They may seem like you can easily pull the books apart, but it's actually impossible Go ahead and let your friends try. They will probably become pretty frustrated when they keep failing. The reason the books don't separate is because the pages of the books have high friction. The more friction something has, the harder it is for something to move smoothly. For example, snow and snow skis have low friction, making it easier for skis to glide through the snow. On the other hand, vehicles like snowmobiles have tires that cause more friction with the snow, so you aren't sliding all over the place while riding one. Since these two books have high friction, they aren't going to pull apart, and you just gained yourself some easy pocket change. Jumping Toothpick Who knew toothpicks were such a staple when trying to make bets you will always win? For this bet, you will convince your friends that you are an electrical force to be reckoned with. First, bet them that you can magically make a toothpick jump for seemingly no reason. The fun thing about this trick is that you can pull it off by just using your head. No, literally, all you need is your head and two toothpicks. To make your friends think that you harness electricity in your fingertips, rub one of the toothpicks against the back of your head. By doing so, you will create static electricity, or at least the illusion of static electricity. Make sure you are holding the toothpick between your index finger and thumb. After rubbing the toothpick on the back of your head, bring it close to the other toothpick, which should be hanging off a ledge. Now, the trick is to flick the toothpick you are holding with your middle finger. Since your hand will shield this action, it will look like there is an electric charge from one toothpick to the other, and it will jump. Watch your friends' faces light up as they hand over your winnings and wonder when you became such a powerful magician. Surprising Square While we don't usually condone playing with matches, this trick is still safe to pull off. This bet is more of a riddle, but your friends will fall for it every time. All you need is four matches and some gullible people to play along. First, set this trick up by making a plus sign with the matches. Make sure all the striking ends of the matches are facing out. This way, you can line up all the edges so that they are touching. Next, bring your friends over and see if they can figure out your riddle. Make a bet with them, saying that you can make a square out of the matches by only moving one of them. If they agree to play along, let them try it on their own first. If they are like most people, they will try moving the matches around, but if they move more than one, they have already failed. Keep letting them go until they give up. Now that it's finally your turn, prepare to leave them stunned. All you have to do is slide one of the matches out, leaving a small square space at the ends. Since you have technically made a square, only moving one of the matches, congratulations, you have officially won your bet. Sadly, you may have just lost a friend in the process. Cutting the lime with a cigarette. Since millennials are the generation with the least amount of smokers, there must be something useful you can do with cigarettes. What if we told you that you could actually cut a lime with one? You probably wouldn't believe us. That means your friends won't either if you told them. Once you lure them in with a sure bet, blow their minds by actually pulling it off. To do so, all you need is a lime, a lighter, and of course, a cigarette. Just a warning, this trick does involve fire, so perform it at your own risk. To get this trick started, light the filter end of the cigarette, but make sure the flame is burning at a diagonal. When it's nice and charred, blow out the fire, wait for the end to cool, and press down on the charred remains to make it flat. Since the filter is made of fiberglass, it will create a blunt edge that is sharp enough to cut through your lime. Next, hack away at the lime with your cigarette as your friends are impressed and emptying in their pockets. Congrats, you not only won the bet, but you also look like the ultimate survivor who can MacGyver their way through any situation. Rock, paper, scissors. 
Playing rock, paper, scissors is one of the easiest ways to settle arguments and bets. What would you do if we told you we could teach you how to never lose another round of the game again? While we can't guarantee this notion, we can give you a heads up on the competition. Studies found that gender makes a difference in what symbol your opponent will play first. If you are going against a male, chances are they will play a rock first. If you are playing a woman, she is more likely to play a scissor symbol. If you forget this rule and lose the first round, you still have an advantage advantage if you remember this next trick. When people win a round, they are more likely to play the same thing the following round. That means if your opponent won the rock symbol, they will probably throw it again, so you should go with paper to win. Now, if you win your first round, your opponent is going to switch up the symbol they lost with. There is a general pattern in the way people choose their next symbol. If they lost with a rock, they will move to paper the next round. If they lost with paper, they will move to scissors. Then, if they lost with scissors, they will most likely move to rock. Now that you can predict all your opponent's moves before they even know, you are sure to win any rock, paper, scissors bet. Which one of these bets are you going to try first? Let us know how they go in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.